Well, you can tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man. No time to talk. Welcome to the G Review for Uncanny Valley, the tiny game that could. Choice driven madness abounds. Music loud and women warm. I've been kicked around since I was bored. This is one of the PS Plus games that I picked up only because it was there and I was pleasantly surprised by it. The graphics are subtle and they're slightly haunting in the way that they kind of take what you, like we've all seen a billion times with the retro kind out there trying to recapture that magic and it adds extra animations. It adds just a certain level of flexibility in the treetop and the characters themselves that just wasn't possible back then. And that's just kind of a lulling take on how graphics have improved, but also how that look will never really die. Melior, where it's always three o'clock, that means no overtime pay. Controls are about as obscure as it gets for how simple the game is. You have to do a lot of manual digging through inventory, but ultimately it works out well enough. My uh, name is uh, uh, Buck. And I, uh, I, I like to, uh, oh, never mind. Beyond the sound effects and the ambient music, it is very text heavy. And its delivery of its, frankly, not great story. Look at the breast physics on Buck. Mm -hmm. There's some real good bricks and mortar, especially early on and with some uh, dream sequences. But whenever all the cards are just laid out on the table, everything just feels flat. Warning! Scribble, 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 scribble. Danger! Scribble, 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 scribble. That being said, this game does lend itself really well to multiple playthroughs because of a choice system that isn't really tied to morality so much. It's just forks in the road that you take. <laughs> they held a board meeting to decipher Blackbeard's treasure map. That line of chairs in the back room, they're thinking about starting a kick line, but they're just so nervous when other people are around. My main gripe is the story. There is one ending, one branch, I suppose you can say, that you can take that offers more in line of what I was looking for in those first creative seeds in the beginning, but it feels unsatisfactory because you know deep in your heart this isn't the real ending. I messed up here. So you go back and you try for the real ending, and it just turns out to be a lot more corporeal and human than I was hoping it would be. Jesus, you can see the moon's spider veins at this distance. The fun part is that all the choices are hidden, so you really have to experiment to see which comes out which way. Is that an Irish cop Mario on that arcade cabinet? Oh, faith in me, God, I'm moving along now. Another factor to be aware of here is the length. Melior, since it's always three o'clock here, it must always be five o'clock somewhere else, so have a beer. Yes, this is a game that lends itself well to replay, but that's partially because it's so easy to digest. And when they let you down, you get up off the ground. Cause morning rolls around, and it's another day of sun. Oh, it's another day of sun. So while it's not the best possible experience it could be, it's still definitely worth a download if you have PlayStation Plus. I gave it a 6 out of 10, and it's still sitting on my hard drive, so there's a better chance than not that I'll be replaying it again real soon. The inside of a Tesla plant break room. Thank you for waltzing into this hellscape with me. I'll see you next time on YouTube and on mygaming.com all the time. Toodaloo.